First off, I'm totally useless on the topic, I just want to upload a video a day. And second, this very serious channel doesn't advocate piracy. Everything is for educational reasons only. And by that, Coco means, piracy is love, piracy is life. And so, we have two Nintendo Switch emulators, Yuzu and Ryu Jinx, and both are open source and available on Linux. Yuzu is written on C++, and it has 14,000 stars and 17,000 commits. Ryu Jinx is written on C Sharp and it has 8,000 stars and 1,500 commits, and probably is a newer project although I didn't check when the first commit was. In any case, here we'll only install and set up Ryu Jinx. So we go to Downloads section, and we select the Linux app. So now we have this tar Jeezy, that I already have extracted here, and inside Publish folder we'll find the Ryu Jinx executable. I'm not sure about the dependencies but it didn't complain for anything. However I must say that Yuzu emulator was nicely packed on an app image. Before we start though, we need two more things. First we need the Switch firmware, and you'll find all the links on YouTube description. And notice it's currently on version 11.0.1. .1. The second we need is the product keys that the device uses for decryption, and I think they should be updated to current firmware version, if you want all the latest titles to work. I'm not gonna share product keys on this very serious channel, but you can google them, and reddit them. So now we have already downloaded our assets, which is basically that firmware zip, and the product keys text file, and I'm gonna copy that. Then we'll go back to our application, that has magically turned to dark, and the first thing to do is to go on tools, and install our firmware. Meanwhile you notice how the app is written on GTK3? GTK and C Sharp, the next level of crap, and crap again, because it now complains for missing the product keys. Logical! So the first thing we actually need to do, is to open the Ryu Jinx configuration folder, and we'll go to system, and we'll paste the product keys we copied before. And I think now we are okay! Hum, gonna install firmware one more time maybe, just to make sure. And now it asks if we want to update the firmware, which is basically like replacing it because it's the same version. Just pressing yes, and the installation was complete successfully. And finally we need some games, which is probably the hardest part of everything. So before you're doing anything else, I would strongly reckon to go back to Ryu Jinx, I just learned to spell correctly, and check out the game's compatibility guide, which is far far from good because otherwise you may end up with some titles, like ReZero, that don't work. And ReZero is only 4 gigabytes, but imagine if it was 30? Of course you'll find lots of titles on internet. But the thing is, even those are supposed to work, they not always really do. For example, one such title is Cardo. And I'm gonna load it to show you what I mean. For start it takes ages for the game to load, and since we're waiting anyway, remember to check on the emulator controls. Under settings, and input. And here we go again, another GTK disaster UI. But then again, GTK should be the least of your concerns, because the game is still loading, and will be loading for the next 3 minutes. And even after loading, there are huge frame drops. Perhaps it's me doing something wrong though, but I will check on all those better when I will have some more time. <laughs> 